Oh god, this journey's gonna take so long, man. Oh man. I have to go like four miles. Oh, now it's raining. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, hopefully I packed an umbrella in my backpack. Thank god I got this backpack mod. Otherwise, your boy would be screwed because I couldn't be able to carry my umbrella. You know what? I think I forgot the umbrella anyway. I'm just going to hide under this tree for now. Man, to hell with the rain. Yo, what's up, guys? Itchable Materialized, or Jax, Black Human on the motherfucking video. And today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get the backpack mod on Xbox One. This mod is my favorite mod on Xbox by far. I'm going to be coming out with the top five favorite mod uh, series coming out pretty soon on Xbox One. So make sure to stay tuned and check that out. But, guys, I think you're going to enjoy this mod. There's so much you can do with this. It's fully packed with all kinds of features. And I can't wait to show you guys exactly what to do. Make sure to stick to the end of the video. Let's get right into it, guys. Okay, guys. To start off, you're going to need the four simple applications. Those applications are File Downloader, File Explorer, Microsoft Edge, and UFO.Transfer. File Explorer, you guys don't have to download. Just make sure you guys have the other applications downloaded. Now, once you guys have all these downloaded, you're going to hit the middle button. Head over to your settings. From settings, you guys are going to want to go to display and sound. Once you guys get to display and sound, go to video output, video fidelity and overscan, and you're going to want to select apps can have a, add a border and make sure that this is unchecked. So if it looks like that, just make sure you have no check in the box. Once you guys have both of these done in all of your applications, head on over to Microsoft Edge. Once you guys are on Microsoft Edge, this page right here is going to be linked in the description. If you guys don't feel like pulling up my video every time you guys want to see the uh, recipes and other stuff like that, you can go to this page. This shows you all of the mod info and other stuff like that. The only reason you guys aren't downloading it from this page is because it doesn't work on Xbox. The AdFly links are broken for Xbox. Every time you try to download them, it doesn't actually pop up the download link. So what we're going to have to do... I went through the trouble of going on my PC, getting the Mediafire links, and transferring them over to where I can get you guys the resource pack and the behavior pack for this mod. Now the best way for me to be able to do this is literally exactly what I did. But once you guys are on here, is all you're going to want to do is go ahead and type in the link that is on screen now. Now the link you guys are going to be typing is a link that just popped up, it'll be somewhere on screen for you guys. I suggest you guys go ahead and pause it and type that link in your search bar on Microsoft Edge. I'm going to go ahead and move on, but I suggest you guys type that in now. For everybody that has already finished and gotten to this web page, all you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is come down to this green download box, hover over it and press the pause button, which is the three lines in the controller. Once this menu pops up, go ahead and go down and select copy link. After you guys have copied that link, you're going to hit the middle button on your controller and go to the file downloader application you guys downloaded a little bit earlier at the beginning of the video. For anybody wondering, it's the one with the silver cover. Once you guys get in the app, go to the top left and select the three lines on it. Select from URL once you're on there, go to this box, press A, hit B after this menu pops up, and then hit the pause button. From the pause button menu, go ahead and select paste come down to the bottom right over here and hit local storage after you guys have selected local storage you're gonna hit this arrow on the right of your screen make sure your thing says local storage backpack behaviors and then hit start once your thing says no transfers in progress after your thing downloaded hit the three lines and go to storage once you guys are brought to the storage page you guys are going to have to hit local storage after you guys are actually brought to the page. Make sure you guys hit local storage. In this part, I actually forgot to show you that, so I'm telling you now. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit local storage, and then it's going to bring you to the page I'm on. But after you guys have hit local storage, you're going to look for this thing here, which is backpack behaviors. What we're going to be doing is turning that backpack behaviors into a zip file. Select the box next to it. Go to the bottom right and hit the three dots, and go ahead and hit rename. Once you guys have rename, hit RB, and you're going to type in .zip, because we're going to be converting this blank file into a zip file. So once you guys have .zip typed, hit B, and then hit OK. 
once you guys have LK hit, it's going to create a zip file for you. It's not going to get that error, and you guys should have a backpackbehaviors.mcpack.zip file ready to open. Go ahead and click on that, and what you're going to do is go ahead and select this icon right here. Select that, go to the left, and select the icon right next to that. From here, you guys are going to go up and hit the up button. Once you guys have hit the up key, what you're going to do is come to the top local storage search bar, hit A on it, and type in backpack B E H. Now, the reason you're doing this, guys, is because what we're doing here is creating a folder. Therefore, we can paste all the stuff we just copied inside of it. So go ahead and do backpack B E H. Hit B after you guys have typed that. That means backpack behavior. Go to the bottom right, hit the three dots. And you guys are going to want to hit new folder. When you select new folder, it's going to take you inside of a folder that you guys just made. You guys are going to hit this clipboard icon right here. Once you guys have hit this clipboard icon, it doesn't take long. Sometimes it takes like 20 minutes. But in this case, we're only doing a normal backpack mod. So it's super quick with it. From here, guys, all you're going to want to go ahead and do is hit the middle button on your controller and go back to Microsoft Edge. So once you guys have selected to go back to Microsoft Edge here, you guys are going to go ahead and download the resource pack now. Now the easiest way to type in, instead of typing all this stuff again, all you guys are going to want to do is it's a lot easier to go to the backpack behaviors thing you guys already have typed in. Hit the pause button while hovering over it and just copy it. Go back to a different tab and paste it in there and just change exactly what I have here. Now this link is going to pop up on screen right now, so I suggest you guys go ahead and pause the video right now. Right now guys, pause the video and down, type that link in to your search bar. Right now. Pause it, type it in your search bar, and come back when you're done. I'll see you guys whenever you're back. So now that you guys have paused the video, came back, whatever, if a random screen like that pops up, just close it. But once you guys are on the website, go ahead and hover over the green search box, the download box right here, hit the pause button, aka the three lines, go to copy link, and once you guys have done that, head on back down to file downloader, aka the website or app we got we were on a little bit ago. You're gonna come back to the page that we were actually on earlier, hit the up button to head up to here, but we're actually gonna go ahead and go to from URL. So what we're gonna be specifically doing, guys is we're going to get that to turn into a zip file. And in order to do this, hit the three lines in the top left, go to from URL, and back to this page. Select the box by pressing A, hit B, and then hit the pause button. Hit paste, and you should have the link there. Now that you guys have that, just hit the right arrow right there. And once you guys have exactly what I have right there, hit the start button. Now this is going to take a couple seconds, it should say no transfers in progress, hit the three lines and go to storage. Once you guys are back on this home storage page, just as I am here, it's going to bring you here. If it doesn't bring you here and it brings you to a list of folders, select local storage. But now you guys have selected local storage and you're in this, you're going to see a backpack resources file, hit the square next to it, go to the three lines at the bottom right, hit rename folder and put .zip inside of here. Now, once you guys type in .zip, remember, you're not going to hit enter, you're going to hit B and then hit OK. You're not going to get the error, only I do, because I already have one of the files. But once you guys have hit that, you're going to get this backpack resources mcpack.zip file. You're going to do the same thing you guys did earlier. Come to the bottom right, hit this icon, go left, and hit that one. Now that you guys have done that, come over to here to the left and hit the up button. Once you guys have hit the up button, you're going to go ahead and come to this search bar that is on the local storage page, select it by pressing A, and you're going to type in backpack space RES. This RES is short for resource pack. So once you guys have backpack space RES typed, hit B and go down to the bottom right, hit the three dots and hit new folder. Once you guys have hit new folder, all you're going to do is hit the paste icon right there on screen. It only takes about maybe 10 to 15 seconds to paste down uh, mods, so it doesn't take too, too long, depending on how big the mod is. So don't make that like a thing for every single one, but depending on how big the mod is. Once you guys have this pasted in here, all you guys are going to want to do is hit the middle button on your Xbox and head on over to file, sorry, not file. Head on over to UFO.transfer 
And if you guys don't remember what UFO.transfer is, don't worry. I'm going to show you exactly what the application looks like uh, is. UFO.transfer is this application right here. Now remember guys, if you did not do the step that I showed you at the beginning of the video by turning your app scan border off, you're not going to see the gear in the top right that I'm about to show you. Now, the reason you're not going to see this is because turning your overscan border off makes it to where there's no border around the applications. And if you did not follow the step like I told you, you're not going to see this icon. So pause the video here and go turn that overscan border off, but once you've done that, select the gear icon. From here, hit open in file explorer and you're going to go to the top and select packages. Once you guys have selected packages, all you guys are going to want to do is go ahead and find megascopes.universal file. If you do not see this file, the easiest way to find it is go to sort by and make sure your sort by tab is on A on top. The reason A on top makes the numbers on top is because that's just how the alphabet is. It puts the numbers at the very top and then the letters below it. Go ahead and select megascopes.universal file and click on local state once you're in there. From here, you're going to see that you have backpack res and backpack beh. What we're going to do here guys is copy down backpack beh. To do this, all you're going to do is hover over that. Hover over it, press the pause button, which is the three lines on your controller, go down to copy. From here, go back to the top and hit packages. Once you guys have packages, you're going to scroll down to the M section of the alphabet and type and select Microsoft.Minecraft UWP console. If you guys have an A on top, like I told you to do earlier, this will be pretty easy to find. But once you guys have found that, go ahead and select it by pressing A on it. This is going to take you directly inside of the Minecraft UWP console. Once you're in here, go to select local state, games, com.mojang. Once you're inside of here, you're going to go and you're going to have to create a couple folders. The only thing you guys are going to have is Minecraft World and Minecraft PE. To do this, to create a folder guys, all you're going to have to do is go down to the bottom right and select this icon. Press A on this icon and you're going to hit X to erase new folder and you're going to type in lowercase B E H A V I O R underscore P A C K S. The reason you guys are typing this in and the reason I spelled it out for you guys is because a lot of people were having issues spelling it and they were putting a V I O U R instead of B A V I O R. Sorry about that. I completely messed that spelling up in my head again. But make sure you guys have it spelled exactly like that. And once you guys have it spelled like that, you're going to hit OK. I already have it spelled and I already have the folder. So I'm going to hit cancel. But make sure you guys hit OK. And make sure you spell it right. Double check yourselves and make sure you've spelled it right a hundred times. Once you guys have done that, select OK. I'm going to hit cancel. Make sure to hit OK, guys. But once you guys have made that folder, you're going to do the exact same thing for the resource packs folder. I'm not going to do it, but you guys know how to make folders now. So all you're going to want to do is go down to the bottom and type in R-E-S-O-U-R-C-E -E underscore packs. Exactly as you guys see spelled on screen right there. Make sure you spell it correctly. Otherwise, the resource packs folder that you guys download will not pop up in your game. So once you guys have the resource underscore packs folder made and the behavior packs folder made, remember we copied down the behavior pack. So what you're going to do is select the behavior pack and you're going to go to the bottom and paste it in there. Don't worry about all the folders I have guys. You won't have any of those. That's just all the mods that I have installed in my Minecraft on Xbox. Once you guys have this, go back up to the top and you're going to want to select local state. Once you guys have selected local state, scroll to the left and hit packages. And you're going to want to go back to megascopes.universal file. Once you guys have done that, hit local state and then go and copy the backpack resource file. Now the reason we're copying the backpack resource file is because, remember, we have to do both behavior and resource packs to do so. So if you don't remember how to copy them, hover over, hit the pause button, and hit copy. From here, you guys are going to go back to the top and hit packages and then go back to the Minecraft UWP console. If you guys can't find the UWP console, go run your Minecraft at least one time and it should pop up. Remember to go to local state, games, com.mojang, and now you're going to want to go into the resource packs folder that you guys made just a little bit ago. Once you guys have gone there, scroll down to the bottom right and hit the paste icon here. 
Once you guys have pasted that, you're going to notice if you scroll up, you guys should see right pretty much at the very, very top for most people, Backpack RES will be there. From here, guys, you're pretty much done. But one more thing you guys want to do is go ahead and load up your Minecraft. See you guys in just a bit when I'm in Minecraft. So once you guys are loaded up into Minecraft, all you're going to want to do is hit play. And if you guys are wanting to put this on an older world, all you have to do is make sure you follow the steps. Select this pin, wait there, and then wait till I start telling you guys the steps. Now, for me, it's easier to show you on a newer world. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and hit create new, create new world. And I'm going to go ahead and just name this one BP for backpack. Now, once you have this named, I'm also going to set it on creative just so I can spawn in uh, some backpacks to show you a little bit easier. And all you're going to want to do, guys, is go ahead and go down to the left. Go down to resource packs, and you're going to notice that it says backpack out on resources. Now, if you don't see this here, it's because you spelled it incorrectly. So make sure you guys have spelled it, inc spelled it correctly before you start saying, oh, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Just make sure you spell it correctly. I can't say that enough. Now, the behavior pack you don't have to equip because it's already equipped. Now, also what you're going to want to do, guys, is go to the right over here, scroll to the bottom, and go to world options, and make sure you turn on use experimental gameplay. That is one of the only ways to get this mod's functions to work properly. So hit use experimental gameplay, and after you have that, go ahead and create your world. Alright guys, so I went ahead and set up some cool little stuff here just to show you guys how everything in this mod works. And, um... In this mod, if you guys are interested, I'm going to have a top 5 favorite Xbox One mod video coming out pretty soon. Probably in the next 2 or 3, maybe 4 days. If you're interested in checking that out, this backpack mod is probably going to be in that. Just because of how cool this mod is. The, as you guys can see, I'm wearing one right now. And it just looks so good it's so cool it literally looks really good on your character like you're gonna walk in your friends gonna be like what uh you're, are you wearing a backpack right now it's just super cool like the fact that you guys can wear a backpack in minecraft xbox one and this works amazingly it's super crazy so once you guys have your uh once you guys are in the game if you guys want to do this in creative how you can actually achieve by getting these uh how you guys can equip and get these backpacks if you guys want to get them in creative all you guys have to do is go into creative mode hit the x button go to your search bar and just type in bac and the three different backpacks spawn in the three different backpacks you can actually equip and acquire in this mod are the small backpack the medium backpack and the big backpack um, the small backpack has 9 inventory slots, the medium backpack has 12 inventory slots, and the big one has 15. So, the best way to actually get these backpacks, you can get them in creative mode, but don't worry, unlike the guns mod, this mod you can actually get all of these things in single, like, survival. So, the way you can craft these, I have all the crafting, crafting recipes set up here. Don't got, guys, don't try to go and craft a big backpack or a medium backpack before you've crafted a small one because it's sort of like a ladder. You have to build the first one before you build the second one before you build the third one. But, but if you guys wanted to start off with the small backpack, it's going to be seven pieces of leather, I believe. No, sorry, eight pieces of leather. I apologize. Eight pieces of leather. There's eight. You use eight pieces of leather for all these backpacks. Um... You're literally going to be using eight pieces of leather for every single one of these backpacks here. But once you guys have this here, you're going to be able to build your backpack, the small backpack. And to actually equip this backpack, you're going to uh, go up to it. And let me go, let me get this backpack off first. Let me get this backpack off first. Um, there we go. Had to get it off. To actually equip this backpack, guys, all you're going to do is walk up to it. And literally when you walk up to the backpack, it hops on your back. If you guys want to unequip this backpack, all you have to do is crouch and jump, and the backpack will fall directly off of you. Crouch away and then stand back up if you guys don't want to equip it again. But there's multiple things you guys can actually do with this, and I'm going to show you exactly those things. Now in order to turn this into an actual backpack, you're going to want to place it on the ground and hit LT on it. This is going to open the backpack, and you're going to see that it looks like it's a horse or an entity. That's because they used an entity to make this mod. It was the only way they could. But once you guys have this mod and have this open, you're going to want to go ahead and get a chest and place the chest inside of this here. Now, this, it's not going to, you're going to be like, uh, it didn't do anything. You guys, if it's not spawning the chest here, 
the little the inventory space, hit B and then go back into it and it should be there. But you're going to go ahead and you're going to get your inventory slots here. You're going to get all nine of your inventory slots, which is really great. Really, really cool in my opinion. So you're going to get all nine of your inventory slots and you can actually lock your backpack. But guys, do not lock your backpack until you tame it first. Now, uh, tame or claim, it, I should say. Don't uh, lock your backpack until you claim it first. So to claim your backpack, you're going to want to get a feather, and you're going to want to hit LT on the backpack. Now, once you guys have hit LT on the backpack, it's going to tame, it's going to claim your backpack, and now you guys can open up your backpack and lock it by putting a trip wire inside of that. Now, once you guys put a trip wire in it, nobody else can access your backpack other than you. But once you guys have that, um, make sure you guys, like I said, claim your backpack before you lock it. Otherwise, you won't be able to open it. Now, once you have that claimed, you guys can unlock it by taking the trip wire out if you guys want to do that. And if you guys just want to uh, take the stuff out and you guys don't want to have this backpack, you guys can always take the chest out and remove it by just doing that. Um, the other backpack you guys are going to be able to use is this one right here. So this is the big pack. This is the medium backpack. And you're going to go ahead and hit LT on this again. And to actually craft the medium backpack, let me go around these so I don't pick them up. To craft the medium backpack, you guys are going to want to do eight pieces, sorry, seven pieces of leather. No, not seven, eight. God, I always forget that. Eight pieces of leather. And you're going to want to put the small backpack inside of that. This is why I said don't try to craft any of the bigger backpacks until you craft the smaller ones. Because once you guys have all this leather and this backpack, you can craft the medium one. Now, that's what I think is cool about this. As long as you get that 8 leather and you have that 8 leather on you, you're going to be able to craft a backpack regardless. So, as you guys imagine, to craft the bigger backpack, all you're going to have to do is use the medium backpack with this leather and you're going to get the big backpack. Now, the medium backpack here has, I've said backpack so many times, the medium backpack here has, like I said, 12 inventory slots inside of it, so, you know, it's really, really good, you're going to have 12 inventory slots, and then the last one here has 15, so you have 15 slots here, 12 in this one, and then uh, 9 in this, now again, you can do a, even more with these backpacks, if you're tired of these, colors i'm sure you guys saw all these back here you can get a load of different colors guys as long as you get dye you can dye it blue pink white orange yellow whatever color dye you guys have you can dye these backpacks and i think it is so cool looking tell me that this is not super cool like you guys can literally dye all these backpacks a ton of different colors just like this um you can get green, yellow, I think my favorite color out of all of them has to be the blue, the white, or the pink. I'm kind of a fan of the lighter pink back there though, so it definitely has to be the blue, the white, or the light pink back there. My favorite color is purple, but I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it on this backpack. So the blue, the white, and this color here. Let me go and put this white backpack on to show you. Oh, it looks super, super cool. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look absolutely amazing. You can walk around with your backpack on. If you guys don't have enough space, just walk on around and do whatever you guys want. Now, again, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to um, dye these. All you guys are going to want to do, if you guys have your dye and you're ready to dye your backpack, um, make sure to be careful though guys because you can only dye this once and you can't undye it once you've dyed it so I'm just gonna grab some dye here and uh, you know I'm just gonna grab some dye if you guys want to dye the backpack all you're gonna have to do is go up to it and hit LT on it now once you hit LT on it it's gonna dye the backpack as you guys can see I'm dying the backpack here you guys can hit LT on it and it's gonna dye the backpack perfectly fine and that's basically all there is to this mod guys I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That's basically all there is for today's video. If you did go to enjoy, make sure to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button down below. I know it was a long one, but um, I just wanted to basically show you guys, sort of like a mod showcase in a way, just exactly how to get everything done. Without further ado, guys, I'll see you in the next one. It's been your boy Materialized, your Jax. Peace out, guys.